Hello guys, it's me and Wish. You didn't see me this episode, did you? But I'm here to join my friend here for a quick old episode of Casting from Excel where we just do the tech for our deck. So, um, yeah, the guys we were playing, well, they were playing a really cool game. I was just, you know, in the background checking things, making sure everything was running smoothly. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, wanted to get this started. So guys, uh, you know, I would like to say ladies first, but not only because she's a lady, <laughs> but also because she kicks everyone ass. My deck finally on camera performed exactly as it should do. And I managed to get double strike and things. I, I, I got things that I wanted. Yeah. I managed to get myself nice and strong and yeah, deal enough damage. That was really fun. I even got like some of my kitty dragon tokens. Normally that doesn't happen. Usually you yeah, kill someone too quick or you make nothing. Mm -hmm. like yeah. So I, yeah, I had fun. It was, uh, it was good. I don't think there was anything that I was particularly holding out hope for that it would come along. I mean, I basically just packed the deck full of ways to get a double <laughs> strike, double power, things like that. That talk, that attack was scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, <gasps> yeah. No, yeah, I, I had fun. I'm glad to finally win on the show. <laughs> yeah, round of applause. And against a pretty tough competition. <laughs> yeah, actually. I mean, th cool. that's it. The reason I chose this deck was because it is one of my stronger decks. And I felt, because of you two coming on, that I needed to actually like bring something strong to the table. <laughs> Otherwise, I wasn't yeah. going to stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to play to win, really. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, playing for fun is fine, but yeah. it does have its limits as well. Like actually, I, I was a bit greedy to be honest. I saw some rig in my yeah, hand. Did, was it the one yeah. hand? Was it? It was the one that hand. And uh, basically, I was just trying to survive until I got enough lads. And genuinely, if she hadn't killed me in that turn, I would have life's finale in everyone's features of the board. <laughs> yes, I knew I needed to. <laughs> yeah. Is that an exile or a destroy? It's a destroy, can't be regenerated. Oh, so it's but the thing is, I had increasing ambition in my graveyard, and I was going to flashback it to get two cards. One of them would be life's finale, and the other one would be something to destroy all your land or something. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd be left with like four swamps for the next turn, but my swamps give like two, oh, twice man. the mana, so I have eight yeah. mana and you have nothing. <laughs> Dude. But yeah, it does take a bit to, to ramp up, but obviously. So like, yeah, like, had I like, not killed David. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you have a bow fight? Like, that that Did you have a I had increasing ambition. I could have cut you just the bow. Yeah. I just done. You could have done that. That's it. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Exactly. I had I had fifteen mana. Oh yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, because the thing about like uh, when I cast skit tricks with the with the thing, with the sword, I had to choose. Because if you uh, you had a way to handle my life's finale, it would have been over. So I prefer to have a creature on the board, mm -hmm. and then he, he has protection from black, so he would resist life's finale, and I'm left with Skitrix on the board, and you have no blockers and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think did I screw you by attacking? Yeah, with, definitely. With that? <laughs> yeah. But, and the thing is, I had I had Doomblade in my hand, and but I can't play it in like response to an instant ability. Yeah. I, the only way I could have done is like if I doomblade the creature before I played Skittrix, but mm. like uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. Hey man, yeah. how it is? <laughs> <laughs> Very. It's still it's a nice to play magic after like six years, you know. For sure. I mean, it obviously, it may be a little bit rusty. So yeah, yeah next yeah, game yeah. you're gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Go for the throw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you remember yeah. like what what things are actually in your deck, you know, exactly. <laughs> and how they work together. For sure. But anyway. yeah. about you, Adam, how how did you feel your deck performed? Uh, gave me lands. So many. Yes, at least it gave you lands this time. <laughs> yeah, um, it loves giving me lands. It's the first time I've played it in paper, um, so I think it did okay. I did miss some triggers, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, too too much playing Magic Hunter. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun point. You make you lazy. <laughs> yes, it made me lazy. It made me lazy. Um, but all in all, I think it did well. Um, I was it was getting scary there. Mm -hmm. what, what so so what kind of like big demon payoffs? What kind of big stompy demons were you looking for? Uh, I was actually looking for rune scarred demon yeah. sure. to get me this lovely guy, Edgewalker. Edgewalker, okay. So what Edgewalker does is cleric spells, and the Shadowborn apostles are clerics. Yeah. You uh, you play cost 
one white and one black less, so, it's so they're free. free. Bam, 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 bam. They're free, and uh, with something like Secret Salvage, because I had one in my graveyard, I could have got 30 Shadowborn Apostles oh, wow. into my hand. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. And then with something oh, like Blood Artist or Zelaport Cutthroat, just, just kill win. everyone. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. You had that Zulaport out, so... Yeah. Yes, for real. <laughs> but the, 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 the one card I've been wanting to, to play is Thrumming Stone. A lot of people don't know what this I card does. That. That, they, they play a lot in like um, Legacy. I think they play. They play it. They, like they, a, it is played in, in Legacy. Rats, they use it in the Wrath deck. That's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So basically, spells you control have Ripple Four. What mm -hmm. Ripple Four does is you play a Shadowborn Apostle. You look at the top four. If there's another one. You play it for you play free. free. And if you've got two in the top four, that means you have to play eight. Oh wow! And it's stacked. Ah, so you can go nice. through your whole deck, and but the, the good thing is those cards then just get shuffled oh, back. back in. Nice. Okay. So yeah. wow. <laughs> like, let me just filter through my whole deck and get all the shadow balls. Uh, have yeah. multiple ways to do that. Yes. yes. Wow. That's that's how this deck this deck is is meant to be played. That would have been crazy. What kind of like what? So so besides Rune Skull, what like big? Um, harvesting won you the game. You know? The harvesting demon that allows me to just draw through um, the indulgent uh, tormentor, uh, Obnixilis. Oh, uh, yeah, his favorite. Yeah, you know, like uh, <laughs> online, I've managed to get him up to a 50-50. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna, it, you know, uh, yes, it happens. Yeah, I, th I think I think your deck performed pretty well. You were quite scared. He was scared. If you hadn't yeah. attacked me with your commander, I would have been, able, would have been to able to do. Yeah. But I didn't want you to have the elves because I, I know what helps. Been, would you would have just been able to start people losing suddenly, life suddenly. And, and yeah. the thing is, every time she attacks, then her power would just spike because I just made nine elves. Oh, suddenly her power is eighteen, eighteen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You have to, yeah, you have to make choices. You have to make you choices. Have to make choices. That's especially it. with the war people, like it, someone has. To I mean, throughout the whole game, I was I was not worried really about you. I was, no, I wasn't. I was, was, the <laughs> I was a little bit worried about David if he started to come with me, but because Abby started attacking him, I'm like, great, yeah. he's my buddy now. <laughs> The politics. No, my, my elf deck did okay for an elf deck. I, mean, I didn't get any good draw. That was the thing. And then I got that really expensive uh, primordial stage mm -hmm. or whatever, which is okay. But like you know, you really want to be getting things cheaper for an elf deck. I do need to go through this and get some a bit of a lower mana curve. Yeah, I didn't get enough removal. I did get a couple of pieces, and I managed to get just enough. But I felt like I was always catching up, even though mm -hmm. even though you never board wipe me. If I get board wiped, this deck is just in mm -hmm. dead in the water. So in fact, I was trying to keep my elves in my hands and just bring out Lapras and make a token board mm. before because I knew that there were going to be board wipes and stuff <laughs> but Abby just kept everyone so oppressed yeah the thing is yeah. like, like I couldn't spend my mana the way I wanted to when you Pyrex in a blitz I was like oh my god Pyrex in a blitz I'm like oh my god Abby's commander is just such a blessing right now <laughs> mono black does not like having to sacrifice that big scary combo yeah. no, no. no it, was, it was like my that's, first line of defense like as I said I don't have many I... creatures I don't have many creatures in the deck uh, that, that's like one of five I think no, okay one, one of seven Sure. Okay. And uh, I was just using it as a blocker, just as, as a third, as a third. It's the ultimate deterrent. No one was to attack. No one But yeah, but the pressure that she kept on me, I couldn't like play the way I wanted to because I had cards like Necrophotis in my hand. But mm. because of all the damage I was receiving, I you can't. Yeah, you don't want to spend life. For no, I don't want that yeah. kind of way. Necrophotis. Mm. That's it. This game was very much about on the board. You needed board presence. I think yeah. because you, yeah. you you had that greedy opening hand that you didn't get uh, your yeah. land drops after. It was like really slow. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, by the way, actually, I wanted to ask you. So, you're a judge. You're an official judge. How does one become a judge? Um, well, it's been many, many years since since okay. I have done it. This was before the change to, mm -hmm. to the judges that happened. I haven't continued, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I, I'm mainly because I don't have the time. Okay. Um, but if I did, you know, basically you can go online. Uh, you there is a uh, there is a website. Um, it's all now. It's rather than being under wizards, if I'm correct, it's sort of like it's private. So you pay a certain amount okay. for for a year's you subscription. To subscribe to being a judge. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, you do get you know you get your money back in, in terms of magic cards and, and judge promo. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's great. Um, I've always taken an interest in like you know being being a judge and um, because I've been playing since two thousand and five. Wow. I think so. It's been 18, 18 years. What set did you like when you started playing? What set was out? Uh, uh, wow. Mirrodin, maybe. Yeah, I think it was Mirrodin. Mirrodin. Wow. Oh, Mirrodin. Okay. Mirrodin. You know, I mean, I remember when I when I when I first came home, showing my dad. My dad's a bit of a geek like me. 
I said like, ah oh, yes, uh, that, and he's like, mm, hang on, yeah. let, let me, let me, let me show you something. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we 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 started like playing uh, like fr from from day one. He helped me a lot, and you know, just pushed me. He's like, like, you know, just for you to enjoy the game. He's always been seen that I've been playing for like two, three years. It's like you should, you know, get better. I tried. I played a lot of, in England, uh, where obviously it's a lot more competitive than than Malta. Um, you know, enjoy the competitive scene. Uh, but I did enjoy like the interactions with judges more. And that's what that's what made me like. Oh, okay, this is you know a neutral arbiter, you know, just looking at the facts. I like you know seeing what happens with certain words. I love I love those interactions. I For sure. I mean, the interactions are magical. There's so many, and nowadays you know with all the keywords and all the yeah, updates yeah. and all the mechanics, it's maddening. I mean, well, I don't pretty... know how they keep track of it really, oh, like, especially for uh, formats like Commander and Modern. Like, imagine having to remember all of the cards that ever existed, mm -hmm. and then you create yeah. some some measly one mana creature <laughs> that has an interaction with a card that came out 30 years ago. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's nuts. That's that's the thing. And suddenly, like a card from that back then spikes it was like 20 cents and i was like 20 euros because suddenly <laughs> this little one one makes it go infinite like what that's nuts I think, the, I think the latest one was display her kitten it was display only the kitten yeah. was, uh -huh, it's quite in nice. legacy it's now it's like, like, uh -huh. like oh yes i just go crazy proliferating <laughs> crazy <laughs> flickering rather mm. uh dave because you were in the competitive seat in mortar what's that like well it's been a while but uh like mostly you get into a team like first you need to win by yourself so uh, you, you catch someone's eye that's already in like in a team and then they put you make you part of it really and then basically you share all your cards together and you have access to all the meta decks that you have out oh, that, that are currently in play but i would say like obviously i don't play standard anymore for many reasons most of it is like the rotation is it's hard to keep up with and mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a lot of research and a lot of oh, effort, for sure for sure a lot of effort like a commander is much more relaxed in that sense and you can play what you want that's it having to very play, few limitations instead of yeah. having to play the deck that they want you to play that's you know? it that's what i was in like about standard and that because there's, the meta is so thick yeah, if you don't, if you don't the play the meta you're going to lose yeah you're gonna lose i mean sorry <laughs> yeah. why i prefer modern <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I love commander because it's like i think feel like it's the most that encourages fun and you can't even yeah. you can't be too competitive because it, you will it, get it balances the like exactly. the competitive yeah. nature like but, obviously everyone wants to win. that's it yeah but sure. uh but compared to modern, especially like you, modern, the, the question is how much money are you willing to spend? That's yep. it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. So you get all the good cards and you get like some some cheesy deck that costs like five thousand quid, you know. But uh, commander, commander is perfectly balanced. That's all things should be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It has been a real pleasure. I hope your t-shirts fit. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> wear them with pride in the public and at the geeky events that go on on our island. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye.